Hello, in this video we're going to do the simple stain technique. Now first let's talk about the purpose of the simple stain technique. You see bacteria don't have any color within their cytoplasm so it makes it very difficult to see them under the microscope. So what we want to do is we want to impart color into the cytoplasm so we can clearly see the bacterial cells and all the structures within them. Let me go over the materials and equipment you're going to need. First of all, you'll need a bottle of distilled or deionized water. You also need a book of bibulous paper, a staining tray, a bacterial smear, which if you don't remember how to do a bacterial smear, go in and review that video. And finally, an acid-base stain. Now let me talk about why we use an acid-base stain. You see, the cytoplasm of the bacterium carries a negative charge. Acids carry a positive charge. So when you put that positively charged acid-based stain on that negative cytoplasm, it's attracted to it, it bonds to it, and we get really nice contrast. Now in this video, we're going to use crystal violet. But also, um, what's commonly used is safranin, crystal violet, any acid-based stain will work. So let's look at the technique. First, take your bacterial smear and put it on your staining tray. Next, take your acid-base stain and apply two to three drops onto the bacterial smear. Now let me show you a close-up so you can see what it should look like at this point. Then, after it's penetrated for one minute, we rinse both sides of the slide. We want to make sure and get all that stain off of that slide. Finally, we're going to blot all the excess moisture. So take your bibulous paper, place your slide within it, and gently press on it. And you'll have to move the slide throughout the bibulous paper two or three times to make sure that you get all the excess moisture. And there I have it. I have a properly prepared simple stain. Now let me show you a close-up of what your slide should look like when it's complete. Now in closing, I want to talk about a few mistakes you should avoid. Number one, when you're blotting that slide, be very gentle. Don't apply too much pressure. It's very easy to break the slide when you're doing this. I've seen it many, many times. Second mistake is don't rub the bibulous paper or move the slide about within the bibulous paper because you can, you can actually rub off the bacterial smear. And finally, and this doesn't happen very often, but I have seen it occur once or twice, make sure you're rinsing with distilled or deionized water. If you accidentally pick up your alcohol bottle, you'll decolorize your bacterial smear and essentially wash the stain right out of it. So there you have it. That is the simple stain technique.